Some South Georgians love them. Some people hate them. We're talking about speed humps. If you drive through Lee County, you might notice more than usual. WALB News 10's Heidi Paxson tells us how and why they are being placed in one neighborhood. Jim and Carla, up and down Hickory Grove, it's been a bit controversial as some speed humps have been placed, picked back up, and put back down. But to get them placed in the first place, it's as easy as sending a request and petition to the county. I spoke with one couple who lives in a subdivision near Hickory Grove. They tell me they requested the speed bump recently installed in their neighborhood. They said, quote, we have a child that rides the bus and has to wait at the end of our driveway in the dark most of the school year. As parents, the safety of our child has been a major concern. We hope that the recently installed speed bumps throughout our neighborhood remind people to slow down and drive with care. Previously, there were slow down children at play signs on Hickory Grove Road, but it's a lot tougher to ignore a 15 mile per hour speed bump. County commissioners addressed the issue at their last meeting, creating a guideline that more than one person should have a say on whether or not a speed bump is added. If one person's having a problem with speeders, then there's more than just that one. And to me, it only makes sense that if we're going to impact an entire street or neighborhood with a speed bump, that we have more than one person buy in. County leaders tell me that one speed bump costs upwards of $3,700. You can view the map of all of the speed humps in Lee County on our website, WALB.com. Jim and Carla, back to you.